Elder Erastus Snow addressed the conference. We come together as bishops, elders, priests, teachers, etc., to receive the bread of life from the lips of the servants of God, that we may all become one. We are a wonder to the nations of the earth. If they had eyes to see and hearts to understand, they would know that to bring a people like this from all parts of the world and form as complete and united an organization as exists among us is as great a miracle as to raise the dead. The Lord Jesus has said, Except ye are one, ye are not mine. He prayed that his disciples might be one. This oneness is not meant in a physical sense. We differ in stature and proportion. It is a unity or oneness of faith, purpose, and interest that is desirable we should arrive at. Classes and aristocracies of wealth should be abolished. The Constitution framed and established by the fathers on this continent was the best government on the earth, yet there is great disproportion betwixt classes in this country. The struggle between capital and labor is very real. The laboring classes are under the necessity of combining to resist the encroachments of capital. The Quakers are, to some extent, an exception to this rule. By economy and frugality they have become almost universally rich and are a class of themselves. Among the saints there are instances where parents allow their children to stay at home rather than go to Sunday school, and the parents themselves will not attend meetings, because probably they cannot appear so well dressed as others. These things are not pleasing in the sight of God. The cooperative movement, which has been recently inaugurated by our President, will correct many evils such as these. It would be well for the saints to read the revelations in the Doctrine and Covenants in relation to the Order of Enoch. According to that order, the means placed in our hands could not be used for self-aggrandizement, but would be the common property of the kingdom of God to be used for the benefit of the whole. Thirty-seven years ago, the saints were not prepared to build up the center stake of Zion. We have come to these barren wastes to redeem the land and gain an experience to prepare us for this great work. There is a tendency among men to take honor and glory to themselves. The Lord is willing we should have all our due, but he reserves to himself the privilege of awarding it. May God bless us all. Amen.